Hello, my name is Gabriel from Tabac USA. In this video, we're going to talk, or we are going to continue talking about communication with the customer. So this is the continuation of the class, the computer class about how to become a computer technician. So now we are going to talk about assertive communication or positive communication. And um, many people don't realize about those things. Yeah, of course, uh, you have to know uh, this, and um, this is the beginning of, of the class. If you didn't see the other videos, I recommend to see it uh, to. So I recommend you to watch the other videos as well. So uh, in this class, we're going to learn how to talk with the customer because what happened when you go to the customer and the customer has done something dumb in their computer, so maybe in the printer or something like that. You have two options. One, to be like in accusative mode, uh, being negative. The one option will be negative and say, hey, dumb, you broke the, the printer and it's all because of you. Or you broke it and now I have to fix it. Uh, and then you, the, the customer or maybe the, the employee because maybe you go to a company and, the, and the, you have to deal with many employees and then they, they may feel bad and they say, oh, I didn't know, sorry. Um, that is not a very good situation. So what I would recommend to do is the positive way. The positive way is saying, okay, listen, you use you did use this cardboard in the printer and let me, let me show you something if you see here in the manual the manual says that you can use x amount of paper or the thickness of the paper has to be this size so if you if you try to use this kind of paper uh, the one that the manufacturer recommends you won't have any problem the next time. So, but don't worry about this time, we're going to fix it. So you, you will have your printer right away. So that, that will be the, the best option. The same thing if you have many, I don't know, a problem with the, with the software or something like that, or someone delete the file or the no or anything like that. I mean, it's like, when you, maybe if you are a boss and you have employees, you you have another option. The other option, I mean, the most common option is that people use with their employees, the bosses versus employees, they will say, hey, look, you have done this wrong and you have to try to avoid it the next time, please don't do this again. Or, or maybe they start saying, okay, yeah, you did this and this and this, but, but when you say the word but, that means the something, they will be hit with something, with a, a baseball bat or something like that. Um, when the people hear that is is because something bad is coming. But you can say it in another way. You can say, yes, look, you have done this, this, and this, and here I found something good so you may, may, may learn. So, and you can explain to the employee, say, yes, this is the opportunity so you can learn this new thing. And then you explain them uh, what they have done wrong. And they say, yes, uh, look, you, uh, this is what you have done, but this is opportunity so you can learn the new way to do it. And then you show them the way and they feel uh, uh, very good with themselves, you feel good, and everybody is going to be happy. So that is the small lesson for today. I hope it was uh, uh, helpful uh, for you. Let me know if you have this kind of uh, situation with the customers, or maybe if you are a, a boss and you have employees and you have to deal with them, <laughs> maybe it would be a, a good idea. So leave me a comment in the section below, subscribe to my channel, and remember there are more classes and if you have questions, you can ask me on the forum and you can go to my website if you want to see more computer classes. See you next time. Bye.